Man, you guys are so smart. SMRT. Look at this numb nuts. Hey, over here. What's up, zombie slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die Alpha 16 Hype Train Stable Let's Play. Man, I love this freaking... I love Alpha 16. I freaking love it, man. I I know I sound like a fanboy, but I'll tell you, man, every time the fun pimps do an, an update, I love it even more. I know some of you guys are having some issues with it, but um, I'm just loving it so much. Uh, last video, we found the best town on Earth, finally. I've been looking for the best town on Earth, and I finally found it. Today, we are going to do some looting during the day. We're going to do some building during the night, and we're going to talk about uh, future builds for this video series. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to give it a like. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Go ahead and pause the video if you want to see what I've done with my inventory. Um, I really haven't done too much. Um, what did I do? I made a bunch of arrows. Actually, I'm still making arrows. I made a bunch of logs. Or, I'm sorry. <laughs> I made logs. Oh, yeah, I made a bunch of logs. No, I made a bunch of scrap iron log spikes. Also made a bunch of flagstone. And I have a bunch of cobblestone. We're going to we're gonna take the last hour of nighttime here and do some looting. I didn't want to do any looting off camera. So we're going to do some looting right now. All right, so... Oh, boy, that's really nice. What are wall coverings? Ooh, is that the one I need? Is that the one I need? Oh, what are wall coverings, guys? Are those the ones where I can paint the um, the things on the, on the you know, chests now? If that's what they are, man, that's going to be awesome. Anyway, this is what we're going to do, guys. This is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to handle this situation. I have an idea for a build. I'm going to be doing a standalone base. I've got it all planned out in my mind. It's going to, it's going to kind of be like what I started last season, but not totally. Um, it's uh, the middle. I'm not going to, I'm not going to call the entire build one thing. I'm going to call the middle part of the build. I, honestly, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but the middle part is going to be kind of like um, one big base. It's I, I, I'm thinking about calling it, calling it the, um, the Citadel. Okay. And it's going to be surrounded by um, four uh, four towers, just like kind of like I did last time, but it's gonna be it's gonna be different. Um, and honestly, I didn't even finish it last time. We gotta finish this. We gotta finish this sucker. Hopefully, we don't have to restart for six two. That would be that would be so crushing if so. But um, okay, let's be a little careful up here. Anyway, so yeah, so I'm gonna build the four towers on the outside. The middle the middle part's gonna be the citadel. If you guys have any ideas for what you want me to call it, that'd be cool. Um, I I'll stick with the Quint the Quintus Sentinel if um if I have to. Um, but, uh, you know, it's made me thinking of maybe getting a new name for this build. But, here's the thing. Last season, I made an outside tower first. I don't want to do that this time. Um, oh, by the way, I've already marked out the spot where the build is going to be. Found a nice flat area. Um, here's the thing, though. I don't want to make the outside tower the first thing. Uh, the first thing I want to, the first thing I want to do is the inside part of the base. Alright, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to be a little careful here, maybe. Oh, here we go. Hello. Can you not? Oh boy! Oh boy! Here we go! Here we go, buddy! Let's do it! Let's dance! Where are you? Come on! I need a dance partner! What are you doing down there? I'm up here, jackass! Oh my god! Freaking zombies! All right, let's do this. Anybody want to dance? Anybody like a dance? Anybody want to dance? Anybody know what that's from? <laughs> Okay, so I don't see anybody. Oh, here we go. Oh, boy. Okay, hold on. You die now. Hopefully we're not stunned anymore. We're not. Okay. Thanks for the cat food. Actually, I'm going to put some stuff away upstairs. All right, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to outline uh, a spot where I'm going to make a very temporary horde base. It's going to be very simple. It's going to be... Uh, it's. Right, let's fight this guy. All right, let's do this. This guy is this guy is freaking maddening. All right, anyway, we're gonna make a very temporary horde base because, like I said, I don't want to make the outside tower first. The first thing I want to make, um, for my for my permanent base, I want it to be the inside tower because the thing is, once I get the inside tower done, I can start setting up multiple forges and have multiple forges running. Um, because of screamers, I don't want to have multiple forges running until I have a, a defense that can, you know, withstand them. So the first thing we're gonna do right now is try and get down this ladder. I love the ladders, but they're uh, the new the new way they look, but they're a little bit hard to get around. Come on, you dick! I'm gonna kill this guy on freaking just at that spite. Also, I need to get some levels. I find that killing zombies is the best way to gain levels now. I don't know if it's technically the fastest, but it's pretty fast. 
and I enjoy it. So no more digging out freaking clay um, to get levels. I'm gonna kill zombies. I don't have any more money. Okay. Hello. All right, we don't really need to even deal with these guys. All right, so we're gonna build our horde base. Um, yeah, right here. Right here is fine. All right, we gotta take out some zombies here. Let's clear this area. Clear this area. Now I'm not gonna be doing any building uh, during the during the day. I'm gonna build. I'm gonna try and build at night. Actually, maybe I should build during the day because if I get interrupted too many times at night, you know, um, I might not get the build done. And we're actually getting close to day seven. Although this build is very quick. It's a very basic, uh, it's the most basic build really you could do, pretty much. Um, I'm just trying to get something to help me survive through day seven. Oh, look at them. They're, they're hugging. Isn't that cute? They're in love. Oh, never mind. No, no love on, no love on my street, pal. All right, so let's kill this jackass. Oh. Die already, you ugly son of a bitch. Whoop, swing and a miss. Oh. Yeah, I gotcha. He tried to spin around so I couldn't get it. So I couldn't smack him in the head, but it didn't work. Alright, so this is where we're going to be building. Yeah, this looks like a good spot. So what we're going to do is, guys, this is going to be very simple. We're going to make a 5x5 five five on the outside. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go. 1, 2, 3. That's perfect. 3 on the inside. We're going to put spikes all around the outside. This is going to be a very basic build. Uh, yeah, we're going to do some looting today. I, I don't think I'm going to have any problem um, here at night. Uh, except I want you guys to be able to see. So maybe we could put up some torches. Because I'm going to be building during the night. And I want you guys to be able to see. Um, although I, I probably do most of the building off camera. This isn't like any kind of special base. This is a, about as generic, um, simple a base as you can make. Um, you can get this base up in one day, honestly. Um, although maybe not farming the materials. Because the, the iron takes a bit. But uh, yeah, it's not too hard. All right, there we go. We got almost all the spikes already. So we come up here. Yeah, I'm going to do the rest of that building later. Let's, uh, why don't we do this? Why don't we put a drop-off chest down here? And I will fill up the drop-off chest with the building materials. So they'll always be in this area. Okay, well, I guess there's only one building material. <laughs> but I was like, I put, put, I put the building material in that chest and I was like, where's all the building material? I was like, oh, well, that is all the building material. Okay. So we got a better light there. All right, so let's take this sucker out. Um, what should we loot first? I think we need to hit some born and nobles. Uh, born. Oh my God, Kate. Seriously, I think we need to hit some cracker books. If you're not, if you're new to the game, these cracker books used to be called born and noble, and the fun pimps, I assume, had to change it for copyright issues. Um, maybe they wouldn't have had any. Maybe they, maybe they would. Maybe they changed it just so they didn't like have to worry about it. Don't really know. All right, so um, someone wants to. Someone asked me what the coordinates of this town is, and that's a really good idea. Let me uh, give you guys the coordinates really quick, and if I remember, maybe I'll even put them in the description. All right, we're level thirteen. All right, so the coordinates are 12, 1,200 north, sixteen hundred east. Twelve hundred north, sixteen hundred east. Go ahead and write that in the comments for me, because then if I see it in the comments, that'll remind me to put it in the description. Very very helpful. All right, guys, let's get some books. I want to get that knife book. Yeah, so someone else asked, um, they said, aren't you supposed to be using blade weapons for this uh, Let's Play? And yeah, I am going to use blade weapons, but I'm not going to use just... Oh my goodness, I didn't... No, hold on. But I'm not going to use just any blade weapons. I'm going to use a good blade weapon. I'm not going to use a um, a knife that's at 20 durability. I'm not going to use... I'm not going to use the bone shivs either. I think the bone shivs are kind of crap. Um, so I'm not going to use those either. Oh, freaking guy. Seriously? Seriously with this? So yeah, so I'm going to wait until I get a good one. Uh, it, I want the hunting knife book is what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm really looking for here. And in the meantime, I will use clubs. Okay. By the way, the person who I, who told me, said that in the comments, also has been begging me to use the pistol. <laughs> now, eh, I'm not a fan of the pistol, but if someone is a fan of the pistol, that's cool. I don't, you know, live and let live, I always say. But um, just because this person is, it's always funny to troll your friends. Um, I always like mess around with them and, and talk about how bad the pistol is. <laughs> Watch out, Hootie McBoobs. Okay. There you go. What was that, your girlfriend? Sorry about that. Now, the cool thing about using the knife this early in the game was, it was, is it would help me get my knife skill up. And that would be a cool idea, but, I mean, it's just not good. It's just not a good weapon, like, the one I have, so. All right. Let's make sure this place is cleared out before we do anything else. 
Oh, we got some black sofas. That's a nice find. This town is just... Saying stuff in this town is, is a nice find or this is a good town just doesn't cut it. I mean, this is like... The, the property value in this town must have been huge. You, you probably had to like sell your soul to get enough money to live in this town before the apocalypse. I mean, it's just insane. All right, guys. The Holy Trifecta is is already started we already got the mini bike book now we need the now normally we would need the we would need the spike club book but i'm gonna forego the spike club book and i'm gonna say the trifecta now will be the hunting knife book so the hunting knife book the crossbow book and we're good to go come on give me it all i want it all on day six i don't want to hear no lip let's do it you know, auger schematics nice i might have already gotten that didn't i already get that no i didn't okay Okay, let's go. Come on, man. Give me what I need. I find these book these uh, bookcases empty a lot. A lot of readers in this town. A lot of people like to read in this game. Um, take all my books. Somebody said there's a lot of books in that that um, that Kindercare poop factory place or whatever. Uh, you know where they keep all this, where they watch all the kids or whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, they said there was like a lot of books in there. And I didn't know, so I was like, ah, oh, well, well, sorry. Okay. All right. Come on, come on, come on. Give me what I need. Give me the hunting knife book, man. I really need the hunting knife book. Don't make me go in that gosh darn uh, high rise. Ugh. The the cracker book high rise is annoying because you have to break open like everything you get. Oh, of course I'm gonna get this on a freaking let's play. I'm not using it. Of course. Of course. All right. Let's go ahead and break this stuff out. All right, guys, I've just opened up everything in the store. Um, so let's get looting. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> awesome. I already looted this one, right? Yes, I did. Did I loot this and this? Yes, I did. All right, let's go in the back. Um, we can loot some stuff out of the bathroom, I guess, if I cared. Uh, 119. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to get some goldenrod. I actually need some drink. Some proper drink. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Nothing. Paper. Paper's not bad. I mean, I'm not gonna turn my nose up at paper. That's for damn sure. Uh, nothing great. Nothing great. Oh, ooh, that's really nice. That's really good. I do love me a pump shotgun. Okay, don't care about that. Let's go ahead and scrap and scrap and learn. Let's open this sucker and a shotgun barrel. Is this shotgun barrel the uh, rare part of the shotgun? So that's not bad. Um, I'm not going to bother getting this leather. Uh, I'll probably come back and get it off camera. You guys don't need, don't need to see me breaking down leather. It's not exactly the most exciting thing in the world. And so let's get going to the next cracker book. <laughs> right down the road. <laughs> I don't know why cracker book would put stores so close to each other. They're just going to be competing with each other. That's not smart. Right? That's not smart. You don't put... You don't put stores that close to each other. They, they're going to cannibalize each other's uh, business. All right. I will learn this Spike Club schematic, even though I'm not going to use it. Kind of bothers me, but what are you going to do? I'm going to be a little quiet here because I thought I heard something that just sounded like a dog. And we have to worry about dogs, people. That's pretty good. I don't need... Eh, hold on to the sham sandwich. You never know. You never know. We gotta watch out for those dog hordes, man. Like, I've heard some nightmare stories about dog hordes. Now, I'm purposely not gonna go in the door because if a zombie comes along, I don't want the door to be open. I want them to have to break the door and make a lot of noise and let me know that they're here. Same goes for wolves, to be honest. Okay, guys, I don't know how much of that um, crash you saw, but I just got I got a null reference error as soon as I went in here. And it seems like I didn't like lose that much of my game, so that's good. Um, I really don't know if I should go to the same spot or if I shouldn't. Let's, uh... All right, we've got some zombies over here. Don't want to get a null reference error now because I'll get killed. All right, yeah, we can't get backed up too much because there'll be other sleepers in here. By the way, we're now using better arrows. I just wanted to use my crappy arrows before I went to my good arrows. We're now using iron arrowhead, ar uh, iron arrowhead arrows. I don't know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Better arrows. Better arrows, bro. That's what you get. That's what you get. Let's with these guys up. Zombies never have anything good, but it's good for our scavenging skill. I know you guys. I know what you guys are thinking. Zombies don't have any good stuff on them. Um, loot them anyway, man. Scavenging skill is important. It really is. 
All right, let's do this, guys. I really don't. I honestly don't want to go into the big cracker book, the the, the tower, um, just because I hate having to break open all those chests. And then you break them open, and like half the time they're like a toilet <laughs> or something stupid, you know? Like I nah, just don't really want to go back there. I will. I mean, you know, I know a lot of you guys probably haven't seen that tower yet. Uh, it's. I also find it hard to like find stuff to talk about a lot of times, but it is dangerous. And oh, there we go. We are two out of three for the trifecta, people. All we need is the all we need is the knife book. I bet you the knife book is probably the easiest one to get to. Um, it seems pretty uncommon, but I don't know why a knife book would be so uncommon. I would think it would be um, something that'd be a little bit easier to get because it's it's you know between the mini bike and the crossbow, the knife is definitely the third as far as useful on that list. Um, so okay, uh, I'm gonna leave that alone. Hey, you know what? Let's grab some money out of here. Man, you know what I want? I want a treasure, man. I want to. I want to get a treasure because I want some money, but I really don't want to like farm stuff to get the money. I'd rather just get a treasure and go dig it up. Um, I might have to farm some stuff though. I don't know what I would farm later. I know what I farm early game. I guess just look for tents and go to the movie theater and break up all the leather. I guess I could do that um, because I need more money because I hate not being able to buy something from those because I spent it all on steel. And plus, I'm assuming next time I go back to the trader, they're gonna have more steel than I'm gonna. I'm going to want to buy. All right. I don't know if I missed anything over there. I don't really care that much. Get most of it. And we'll see where things go from here. Oh, like a balloon. Level 14. What up? Oh, okay. Here we go. We got Big Bertha. Get up, Big Bertha. Oh, I took one of the forehead, Big Bertha. I want your spoon, Big Bertha. Where's your spoon? You pulled out on me. Don't you hold out on me, Bertha. Get up. Get up, you bum. Get up, Rock, you bum. Because Mickey loves you. All right, I don't love you. I'm going to kill you. You're no Rocky. All right, give me the spoon. Oh, pretty cool hoe. Um, although, I don't think the... Uh, I don't think the quality of the hoe means anything when you're tilling, so... But, eh, spoon would have been better. By the way, when I'm talking about the spoon, I'm talking about she, uh, she sometimes drops a steel shovel. And I would love to get a steel shovel. Although it's not as good as it used to be, but it's still pretty good. Alright. Come on. Come on. Give me that knife book, dude. Enough of these helmets. What's with the helmets? Ooh, that's nice. Do I already have that? I think I already have that, don't I? No, I don't. Cool. I get confused because I play on a multiplayer server and I get confused on what I have on which world, you know? Oh, God. <laughs> well, you know what? I wouldn't be in this town. You hear me? I'm poking my desk because this is how important this is. Um, I wouldn't be in this town if I didn't get the uh, first book for the mini bike. Um, so I... Oh, boy. So I still believe that it was a... It was... Even finding one, it was still a better idea to buy it than to, you know... If I came here and found it. Because think of how fast I got to this town. So. I'm just trying to justify the fact that I spent money on a mini bike book. And then found it a couple days later. But. Still. My point stands. My point stands. Alright. Let's go ahead and break these up. Then we'll go upstairs. I'm still looking for that damn knife book. It would be really nice to get that. I think, I think we're going to be doing the tower guys. I think we're going to be doing the cracker book tower. I don't know when. It probably won't be. You know. It probably won't be soon. But I'm thinking maybe after, a dev, maybe between the day 7 and 14 hordes possibly. I, I don't know when. I mean, I really, honestly, like, I really want that knife though. And what we really need is we need to get some money so we can buy the, so we can buy the damn machete, alright? And speaking of the machete, that brings me to corrections! Okay, last episode I said that you had to get a perk to make the machete. That is not true. I repeat, you do not need a perk to make the machete. Okay, I actually did this on my multiplayer world, so I know 100% this is accurate information. Okay, what you need to make a piece for the machete, all right, what you need to make a piece for the machete, you get machete crafting that allows you to make the blade. You need the blade to make the machete, but the machete itself takes nothing. You only need a workbench. You don't need a, you don't need a book for it, nothing. All you need is the machete blade. I find this very interesting. There's no other crafting in this game, all right, since Alpha 1, I've been playing this game for four years. There's no crafting in this game that's ever worked like this, that you 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 have to get up to a certain level 
to get the blade so you can make the item that you can make at any level. Right? That doesn't, that's weird, isn't it? Um, so I got to go buy the machete blade is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but I find that very odd. I was talking about that on stream the other day. Um, these bathrooms, I don't really care about bathrooms. Oh, these aren't bathrooms. I thought these were bathrooms. Hello. I've come to play. Can't we play? There you go. Yeah, keep breaking out that door, genius. Even though there's an open door right next to you. Man, you guys are so smart. S-M-R-T. Look at this numb nuts. Hey, over here. Hmm, I think my wife bought fruit. I smell fruit. She just came home and now I smell cantaloupe. Hmm, that smells good. I'm gonna have some cantaloupe. Not right now though. We gotta finish this video. All right, so there's nothing else in here. Don't worry guys, there's a whole nother upstairs. Uh, don't really care about any of that. All right, let's do some inventory stuff. Scrap, scrap, eat, scrap. Uh, we're going to save these to sell to the vendor. Um, unless we're going to learn them. Learn it. Learn it. Read it. Uh, scrap that. Okay, that made some room. We'll deal with the rest later. All right, let's get upstairs. I've actually lived in this building before. So. Pretty cool. Oh my god, look at all these couches. Oh, man. What is that? Downstairs? Eh, I don't know. Probably downstairs. Who cares? I should probably get some hit. Oh god. I should probably get some hit points back if I'm gonna not worry about where things are coming from, right? Gonna need that. Will that give me some hit points? I think it will. Yep. We're starting to heal. Uh, we don't have. Really? I'm not bringing. Uh, I don't have any uh, chew toys with me. Some I don't have any uh, uh, pain painkillers. That's interesting. All right, I don't know why I wouldn't have brought painkillers. I don't know where those zombies are, man, but they are pissed. They are super pissed. Get up, woman! I need a dance partner. Oh, boy, where'd you come from? I'm gonna watch the video back. I'm gonna watch the video back. Because I got yelled at for saying that zombies were spawning behind me, but I'm gonna watch the video back. I'm not saying that zombie spawned over here. Um, I probably just didn't see him. Actually, there's a little hidey hole here. Never mind. I'm almost positive he was there the whole time. <laughs> I will watch the video back, though, because I'm kind of curious. You miss that stuff, you know? That's why sleepers are That's why sleepers are so fun, because you don't always see them. There we go. Trifecta! Oh, this is just one. Can, I think, can you guys think of any more books that I need <laughs> at this point? Probably some uh, armor books, you know, some armor schematics, but what other books would I need? I'm trying to think. I can't think of any. Um, honestly, I can't think of any. You let me know in the comments. What other, what other schematics am I missing that I'm going to need? Because I think I got pretty much everything I want. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so glad I got the hunting knife. Actually, let's just make it right now. Oh, damn it. That's what happens when you're not paying attention. Yeah, see? That's, that's what happens. That's what happens, guys. I knew the area was... Look at these zombies coming at me. Um, uh, let's just go ahead and use this last bandage we have. Uh, that means if I start bleeding out, I'm not gonna have any way to stop that. Um, I don't see any cloth on me. Uh, this is a bad situation to be in. Alright, let's just not get hit. How about let's not get hit? How about that? I bet you guys never thought of that, right? Okay. Okay. Shh. Um, oh wait, I leveled so we could put our weapon smithing up. There we go. I was I was short on points for weapon smithing. There we go. Okay. Oh boy, man. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and eat that for the for the hit points. Do I have any? I don't seem to have anything that can cure infection on me, which is kind of sucks. But we'll see. We'll see how things go. So the thing I don't like about the knife, uh, and I'm not sure if the machete has the same problem. I don't think it does. But the thing I do not like about the knife, it's a, it's a powerful, it's a powerful weapon, but it has it has less reach than the club, noticeably less reach. So that's always been a problem for me. Okay, so let's also put a point in knife guy. Uh, there we go, there we go. So knife guy is going to give us more entity damage, less stamina loss. All right, it's also going to help with harvest count. That's why blade weapons is so good. 
That's why, uh, do more damage of blades. That's why blade weapons is so good, because it also does harvest count. That's something you don't get if you use clubs. Okay. Okay, let's finish up this floor. I want to kill everything first. Where's my knife? There we go. By the way, if you one-shot a zombie with these low of tools or weapons, um, it's probably one of the fake sleepers. You know what I mean? Like, if you hit a sleeper with these crappy items, I mean, a 100 bow is not a good item. So if you one-shot one, it's probably a fake zombie. Although I play on warrior difficulty. Um, but a lot of these sleepers are fake sleepers. They're not meant to do anything. They're just, they're just there to kind of throw you off. So you have to hit them in order to be able to loot them. Yeah, we need bones. We need a lot of bones. I'll do that off camera, though. You don't need to see me cut up freaking corpses. You sick bastards. You want to watch me cut up corpses? What's wrong with you? All right, let's uh, read that. Can't read it. Can we read this? Yes, we can. We can read this. We can read this. No, we can't. Uh, okay, we're starting to get a little full up here. I'm trying to save the schematics so I can sell them to the trader. You guys said that. It's a good idea. But man, it really clogs up your inventory something awful. Actually, I'll probably still do the big cracker book anyway because... Um, because uh, the cool thing is I'll get a lot of paper from there. Which is really nice. Drink down the golden rod. That's why we buy it, people. That's why we buy the golden rod, man. It's worth every every duke. Dukes are the currency in the game. Um, there's supposed to be like a storyline uh, eventually the Fun Pimps will put in where um, you have to like fight the Duke of Nav's gain or some kind of crazy stuff like that. Or, you know, should be pretty crazy. Fun Pimps are a crazy dev team. I mean, they're called the Fun Pimps. I mean, that's just crazy in itself. Probably why I like them so much. Oh, and they also made an awesome game. All right, we are just about done here. I don't even know when I let, when I set my timer off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back after this and just start building um, off camera. And then uh, we should be ready for the seven-day horde in plenty of time. Plenty of time. I also got to harvest some, some iron, actually. Um, I'll do that after video. I'll go drop this stuff off. Harvest some iron. we got to make a trip to the trader at some point. Maybe it'll be the first thing I do after the horde night. Um, roofing book... And let's go ahead and get our axe. That's not an axe. That's an axe. I'm getting a little nervous now. These freaking zombies. I don't know what she's doing down there, man. She's just confused. All right. Let's break this sucker. And we're done. Oh, no, we're not. Man, I love this building. Oh. That's not bad. Alright, let's go knife some zombies if you guys get to see some knife action. Hello. Whoop. Stop. Stop moving around like an idiot. There you go. Alright, how about you? You gonna break that or not? There you go. It's unlocked, but I'll help you break it anyway. You seem hell-bent on it. go okay all right looking good looking good did i loot all these zombies no i didn't i definitely looted big bertha that's for damn sure see why break in here when i can have him do it for me you know i really should be checking these cabinets because i want to get another wrench i have a good wrench but i want to like save the good wrench and use a crappy wrench. You need a wrench to make the workbench. And I want to use a crappy wrench to make the workbench. Plus it rhymes. Crappy wrench to make the workbench. Alright guys. I think we are just about done here. Yes, yes, yes we are. Um, how much money I got here? How much money? Do I have any money? Yeah, I got, I got a little bit of money there. Let's buy some more goldenrod. Honestly, I don't need as much coffee as I used to. Uh, I don't have any room for it. Uh, yeah, whatever. Let's just leave it alone. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I am going to call this one here. I will see you next time. And until then, take it easy.